Hi guys, Mindful Monday, Naked Nana time. Today we're reading from Stephanie Dowrick, The Universal Heart. Today is all about free yourself from resentment. Release your relationships from the burden of resentment. Resentment inhibits love, but it can be transformed. Many people grow into adulthood as virtual slaves to their own feeling states, doing only what they feel like, or feeling aggrieved when they're asked to do anything else. Maybe this feeling of worship of feelings came about as a reaction to early generations' denial of emotions. But there's been a bit of an overcorrection. So, tips for freeing yourself from resentment. Observe how freeing it is not to be dependent on feeling like it or to do something that's useful or essential. Keep a mood chart for a day. Notice the influences on your emotional state. Many will be a little bit trivial. Observe which feeling states catch your attention. Maybe it's just a habit. It's not healthy either, 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 either to be remote from your emotions. Recognize feelings. Respect them. Just don't be ruled by them. Have a little chat with them and let them go. Send them on their way. Use your mind, experience, and common sense. Know how to say no to something. That's a real practice. How to say no. No. No is a complete sentence. Notice how distracting resentment is. Give yourself a break. Notice how a familiar task changes when you pay close attention. The more absorbed you are, the more mindful and soothing it becomes. Move at half a pace sometimes. Let the task itself calm you. Do one task only, then the next. Avoid creating a hierarchy of tasks. Avoid blighting routine tasks with grievances such as, why should I be the one to? Know what's causing your grief. Talk to your inner commentary. Move into a neutral description rather than self-pity. The car needs cleaning, not I suppose it's up to me to clean the car again. Balance complaint with gratitude. I'm glad I have a car. Check if you're stuck with the lingering dotes of automatic refusals. And basically, practice a bit of gratitude today. But this card, May I Be Well, might help you too. So, we all want to be safe, healthy, happy. So even if it feels a bit self-indulgent, reminding ourselves of this throughout the day is a lovely way to stay in touch with the basic desire. An easy way is to repeat the phrase, May I be well. May I be happy. These words will cultivate a sense of self-care and can bring a feeling of warmth and kindness to even the coldest times. Try incorporating the phrase into your daily routine by repeating each morning and each evening before you go to sleep. So today, let go of resentment and remember, may you be well, may you be happy. Namaste. Naked Nana Mindful Monday.